How to remotely control your computer with Intel Active Management Technology in AMI BIOS. Remotely controlling one computer from another is beneficial in many aspects. For example, a computer issue can be resolved faster with a lower cost of services. To do this, you can utilize Remote Access Software Tool or Intel Active Management Technology, Intel AMT on computers with Intel vPro platforms, including some Intel Core i5, i7, and Xeon processors. Please check your processor specification to make sure it is Intel vPro platform eligible. This video shows how to remotely control your computer with Intel AMT in AMI BIOS. First step is to enable Intel AMT on the computer you want to connect to, called the client. Second step is to install the tool on another computer which will connect to the client and control it, called the host. Once that's done, the host can connect to the client and control it using the tool. First, we have to enable Intel AMT in the client's BIOS. Please follow the steps below to enter BIOS setup utility. First, please turn on the client or restart it if it is already on. Second, quickly press the delete key several times to enter BIOS setup utility. Use the arrow keys to select Advanced tab, AMT configuration, and press the Enter key. Make sure that the Intel AMT is enabled, then press the F4 key to save the setting and exit. Quickly press the Ctrl and P key several times to enter MEBX setup menu. Select MEBX login and press the Enter key. If this is the first time you've launched MEBX, you will be prompted to create a password. The default password is admin. Select Intel AMT configuration, activate network access, and press the Enter key. Press the Y key to activate the network access. Press the Escape key until you return to the main menu. Select MEBX exit and press the Enter key. Press the Y key to exit and the client will automatically reboot. Next step is to run the Intel Management and Security Status IMSS program in the client's OS. If IMSS is not on your system, please visit our website to download the Management Engine driver. Click the General tab. You can see that Intel Active Management Technology is enabled. Click the Intel AMT tab. You can see that connection status is connected. Leave the IMSS program open because it will generate a user consent code for connection later. Next step is to install Mesh Commander on the host. Download the latest version of Mesh Commander from its website. Install and run the program. Click the Add Computer tab. Create a friendly name for the client. Enter the IP address of the client at hostname field. Enter the MEBX password created for the client. Click OK. Click Connect to proceed. Next, click Remote Desktop tab and connect. At the same time, a pop-up window with a user consent code will appear on the client screen. Enter the user consent code in the host and connection between the two computers will start. You will see the screen of the client on the host. The client will have alternative red-yellow lines around its screen to indicate that it is under remote control. Contact us at inquiry at dfi.com if you have any questions.